red sky at night, sailor's delight. <laughs> Welcome to Hollywood! Guys, <laughs> I don't know if you can see the sign in the background. Oh, a oh hair my tie. God. Oh it was my God. running from me. We are here. We are at the Farmer's Daughter Hotel. We wanted to pick up on the action today. We had a wonderful flight yesterday. We upgraded to Economy upgraded. Plus. I'll throw in some clips from the plane. We're going to Los Angeles. LA, now. Literally, Disneyland. Yeah. Right? We're doing <laughs> your socks. I got my little socks. We're doing three days in Los Angeles. Tomorrow, we're doing a bus tour. We're doing one of those like tacky Hollywood bus tours. Yeah. Where it's like a cut off top of a van. Yeah. I'm so excited. Yeah. So hit the notification bell. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I never wear makeup anymore. I got to see Hillary when we got here, and she was like, Jill, you should really wear mascara. Jill, it makes such a difference. <laughs> You're so brutal. I can't help it. So Jill made this like video announcing this trip, and she wanted to get my reaction to it, so some of you have probably seen this. A dream come true. Yeah. Okay, should I watch it? Yeah, put your headphones on. Also, we 100% upgraded to like fancy seats. Yeah, show them the seats. We're in premium economy. Yeah. So basically, there's a third seat blocked off between us. Between us. <laughs> yeah. And look at the leg room. WestJet though, not bad. <gasps> well, you're watching an ad. Love you for that. Well, electronic I devices. Cry. For more information, Yay. a guide is. Et de ranger vos bagages dans les compartiments supérieurs ou sous le siège devant vous. Your Ursula, though. This is so sweet. <laughs> Hit the notification bell. <laughs> I love you too. This is so sweet. Let's read the comments. <laughs> I was like, bitch. Oh, wait, you <laughs> It's so sweet. I thought you might hate it. Why? Remember the last time I made a montage with clips and music and you said it looked like something that would be played at a funeral? Was that your intro to your channel? Yeah, my like old bad channel trailer. Aww. You guys go watch it. It is really sweet. It took forever. I can't even imagine. Jill literally combed through all of her vlogs from Disneyland and pulled all the clips from Every like, time. I wish Hillary was here. And it was a lot because I'm obsessed with you though. It's three minutes of me. <laughs> yeah, I showed Hillary the video that I made to announce this trip and it was like a love letter to Hillary. It was so sweet. Yeah. Oh my God, feel how warm it is. I know, at home it's like oh. so cold. Yeah. What? Oh yeah, there's bird scooters everywhere. LA is everything. Anyway, we're also right across the street from the old farmer's market. So we're gonna head over there, get some cheap breakfast, and then we're going to the Hollywood Walk of Fame, where we're going to do a bus top, open top tour. I insisted on this. Of celebrities' homes. This was I something Hillary really this. wanted to do. I, we're gonna I see. Think it's gonna be so fun. What are these like tacky tours that you see with like a cut up van? It's gonna be like, this is where the mom from the Brady Brunch lived. Yeah. This is where Lucille Ball lived when she was semi-successful, but not all the way successful to live in a gated community. Anyway, <laughs> very excited. Stay tuned. Here we go, into the market. Okay, that is where we're going to get breakfast. It's a place called Charlie's and we saw on Yelp it has amazing reviews, so we're real excited. This is where everyone sits. I love the color of the seats. If I ever renovated a kitchen, I would want the cabinetry to be painted this color because it is everything. We had to wait a while, so we mostly wolfed down our breakfast. The eggs were delish, but the hash browns, you can't tell, like the photo doesn't do it justice, but what is it called? Charlie's Coffee. Really good. Yeah. It's like a beautiful nest of potatoes. Look how cute this is. You can't see what I'm filming, but like. So there's all these restaurants, like these little like quick service places, and then there's like open seating, and it's just really pretty. It's really pleasant. It's open. 
so definitely recommend this. Love that this place that sells meat <laughs> shapes it like a pig, lol. Love this ice creamery. A million and one candies from the Magic Nut and Candy Company. Guys, I can't even tell you how good it smells. It's so good. It's like stupid. Getting hungry though? Yeah. You can also get beautiful souvenirs. You can buy sage to burn. Cleanse. We're in LA now here. Yeah. Waffle cones. Hello. That looks incredible. That's amazing. <laughs> Phil's Deli. Love the look of this, and it's busy, so I'm willing to bet it's delicious. Yeah, yeah definitely. Another deli called Maggie's that's been here since 1917. Love this. Oh my god. Look at all the fresh juices. Look at that. Or the lemonade, though. You can get an organic hibiscus caffeine free lemonade. Love that. A Moishe's Deli, more places to sit. And this place called Bob's Coffee and Donuts that looks like oh, yeah, everything. That looks real good. That fried chicken looks like it's probably amazing. So we will definitely be back here to eat all of this and more. And guys, just so you know, come at like 9 a.m. or 9.30. It opens at 9, right? Yeah. So or 10. Come, come when it early. opens. It's not that busy. Lovely. There's a bakery for dogs. And all the dogs are shook. There's We're dogs the everywhere shook. here. I love it. Oh, maybe I'll get a little something for Wade. He would like that. We're turning on Sunset Boulevard here. Oh, beautiful. We've, Hillary's been like snapping photos the whole way. She's just like, I can't believe there's palm trees here though. <laughs> it's beautiful, huh? We are here in Hollywood's heart of sleaze, <laughs> the Walk of Fame. We're about to go on an Access Hollywood tour. You can kind of see a little blue bus back there, but we were walking and looking at stars and look who I found, something meaningful. Orson Welles. Okay, I promise I won't make you stop and look. <laughs> literally, literally your voice when you did that. Okay. It was great. But I won't make you stop and look at all of them. A lot of them are like who? Like Fred Waring? Well, they're people that are important to Kate the industry. Kate Garnett, Franchot Tone, Linda Carter, Superwoman. <laughs> and not the YouTube Superwoman, guys. Like the original Superwoman. Oh my god. Halloween show. Or actually, no, it's a lingerie it's store. A lot of stag shops. A lot of stag shops. Guys, people leave glitter on RuPaul's star. Coming to you live from a bathroom. Guys, Hillary did such a good job picking the tour we're going on. It has its own private bathroom off the Hollywood Strip. And Hillary's gonna tell you a little bit so this is about the tour she found. Good job, Heel. So it's called Accent. Well, we'll know if it's good when it's actually happening. I the, the bathroom alone. Yeah, so it's called <laughs> Access Hollywood Tours, and we get to do a few things. So see current and former homes of celebrities as we pass through some of LA's most beautiful neighborhoods. We take pride in our excellent tour guides to provide the most comprehensive narrated tour of, breath, of breathtaking, oh, breathtaking <laughs> celebrity mansion. What are we seeing? Of the stars of yesterday to the stars of today, like Madonna, Tom Cruise, <gasps> Ozzy Osbourne, Michael Jackson, are we seeing Neverland? No. <laughs> We're on the bus. We got a brutal picture taken beforehand. We're so excited. We'll show you guys some like highlights. Yeah. Right? Right. You guys can get off and get your pictures of the Hollywood sign. Sightseed. On that ladder with this umbrella. This is the Pretty Woman Hotel. Right on. Huh. Next I'm gonna point out to you guys another good place to go to is the observatory. That, um, if you happen to go up there at night, you can see the stars in the moon with the telescopes they have up there. They also have different shows there. I've been to a laser show there, which was pretty good. You can also learn a little bit about the universe as well as the solar system. <laughs> Here's the overlook where people get pictures with the Hollywood sign. Smile, heel. So this is the overlook where we've stopped. No fence here. Just watch your step. That's the Rose Bowl. And then that off in the smog is downtown. Come on, Gio. There's you. And there's the Hollywood sign though. This house with this view, our tour guide told us, is the house of the guy who wrote and produced the song, I Like to Move It, Move It. So, times were good when CD sales were a thing. <laughs> it's $6.5 million though. Here's um, Boris's house. <laughs> Smile, you. Next is Sasha Baron Cohen's house. Come on. 
Okay, so um, <laughs> now we're coming up to um, Drew Carey's house. He may look thinner on TV, but in person, he's a lot thinner. Come on now, give us some tickets for the Price is Right. <laughs> we want to be contestants, Drew. This is the film location for each. Can everybody step out, please? <laughs> it's Troy McClure's house. <laughs> We can't see much of the house because of, of the trees, of the leaves from the trees. There's too many leaves. So if you want to come Smart. back, so there's his gate, there's his security shack for security guards. There's the house back there. You can barely see it. Right out Chili Peppers used to live. I have some friends that worked for that moving company. I moved them out of that house. And um, when they were finished with the job, he paid them, plus he gave them a piano. Oh. It's pretty cool, huh? It was an older piano, but still it was his, you know? Yeah. The owners even added to the gates. They made them taller so nobody can look in. There's a blue square that has a letter D on it. Can you guys see it? It's right above that little roof in front of the water tank up there. It's a light blue square. And um, John Stamos, he likes to collect a lot of antiques and memorabilia and stuff like that. He collected, um, I mean, he bought all 10 letters. That's said Disneyland from Walt Disney for 30000 mm. And those were the original letters at the entrance of Disneyland. She attacked him with her umbrella. Yeah. Now look at her. Now I'm just playing. <laughs> Gated community. That's so cute. Where all the big, big, big stars live. These houses are what they call cliffhangers. I guess um, you could say they weren't thinking about the mudslides or the earthquakes that California is known to have. And they definitely were not thinking about their neighbors below them when their houses go down. No? Holy moly. They're not that daring, huh? Yikes. Oh, these I saw on Instagram. They've been changing their outfits each day. <laughs> to where Debbie Reynolds and Carrie Fisher were living at. Oh, the signs. That's the house that Justin Bieber used to live in. Oh, the glass. Whoa, bro. A big house. This one right here. All the gates are open. Oh, someone's <laughs> I don't think that's him in the Toyota. No, it's, <laughs> it's a Toyota. <laughs> well, you know what? Some of them have cars like that. Yeah. Oh. Just to blend in. These are the bungalows they have right here at the Beverly Hills Hotel. Ooh. They start off at 2500 up to $20,000 a night. Mm -hmm. I've seen DJ Khaled at this one right here on our right with the palm trees in the front. I've seen him there a few times. Another one. Mm -hmm. That's Donald Trump's house. Yeah. That's so ugly. Love it. This one right here. Wow. Wow. Joan Crawford's house. That's beautiful. It's huge. Like, especially for the time. I love Lucy. Her son, Desi Ernest Jr., little Ricky, he still lives here. Wow. Hmm. Lucy, I'm home. <laughs> You got some explaining to do. <laughs> hundred thousand a month. This is not the Neverland Ranch. The Neverland Ranch is up there in Santa Barbara. Michael Jackson's bedroom was up here on the top where that balcony's at. That's the room he died in. Oh. And um, June twenty fifth was nine years that he passed away. So morbid. Rodeo Drive though. That's the Gucci all the vloggers go to. It's like this club gang. I mean, is the Viper room? That's where River Phoenix overdosed right there. So don't be surprised if you see a celebrity around here. You just keep your eyes open around here. 750,000, yep. she couldn't pay it. So she's no longer welcome in that hotel right there anymore. Uh -huh. We are at the Grove, guys. That tour was fun, a little morbid. For anyone who has not been here, do yeah. one of those tours specifically, I don't know about the other ones, but Access Hollywood tour is yeah. awesome because if you don't have a car, it literally drives you through every neighborhood and you see everything. Isn't this nice heel? They have the fountains. Give me that. <laughs> okay, you guys, Jill and I, went on the Hollywood tour today and took like a ton of photos. Yeah. And then, so now we're finally back at the hotel, like on Wi-Fi, like swapping photos or whatever. Yeah. And Jill explained to me that there are presets that you, you can, can buy. It's basically buying Instagrammers who are really good at Instagram <laughs> sell their Lightroom settings down to like color correction and tinting <laughs> and sharpness <laughs> and like everything, okay? Okay, so, are you ready for this? Yeah. So this is a photo of Hillary. So we're going to go <laughs> into presets and let's try this one. <laughs> 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 
literally, literally the best photo I've okay, ever had in my life. Look at this. Extremely average, like, vacation iPhone photo. Professional influencer. So guys, I'm gonna post this on Instagram and see the feedback that I get. <laughs> People, you've never looked better. <laughs> <laughs> like it blasts you with light. Like it doesn't change the shape of your you, face. You, someone like our age. <laughs> Stuff people younger than millennials know works for a picture. Yeah. That's unbelievable. <laughs> That's ridiculous. It looks like I'm in the desert. That's also Jill's Love like it. safari hat from Disney. Yeah. From Animal Kingdom, right? Which you laughed at for me for bringing this giant Oops. dad hat today, but guess what? It best photo of my cool. life. It is literally, literally the best photo of Hillary's entire life taken <laughs> in a hat that she thought was so stupid, but look how incredible she looks. I was right and you were wrong. I'm gonna sing the I was right song. Stop. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go to Venice Beach in a little bat. <sighs> but also it's like, it's late. <laughs> I know. But we do wanna see the beach, it'll be everything. Also, if I can say, the celebrity tour, I have some mixed thoughts on it. On one hand, it's neat, but on the other hand, I picture Drew Carey in there being like, <laughs> I just want to leave my house. You know, like yeah. that part where they're like, this is the house where Michael Jackson was found dead. I it's love like, that though. I love that. <laughs> Oh, You're yes. such a sicko. I wanted to see like the Griffiths Observatory. I wanted to see stuff that was, you know, like history. We saw where Michael Jackson died. <laughs> <laughs> That's not history, then I don't know what is. Oh my god, I already have 22 likes on this Steering photo. Staring at your own photo. <laughs> oh my god, literally? Okay, someone commented. Ashley Evertoski said, Oh my god, I had to comment because you're absolutely glowing. So beautiful. <laughs> you have no idea, Ashley. I've been blasted with light. Blasted. Blasted though. Blasted all the way. Aspen, Aspen o food presets for iZone. iPhone. They were $50, but it's gonna like, Hillary's Tinder game is about to change forever. You'll see you in real life and be like, you mean you're not followed by a perpetual sunset though? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're here at Venice Beach. <laughs> so excited. We're gonna watch the sunset, hopefully through the haze. Can we, can, as we walk to Santa come? Monica, hold on. We went through Venice Beach and we went through the Venice canals. And I was like, let's take pictures here. It's so cute though. This is what happens. When I take pictures of Hillary, I'm so careful because she's a nutcase. You're pretty careful. I'm very careful. Every photo of you I've taken on this trip is beautiful. And then I'm like, take one of me. And Hillary will be like, <laughs> not even look, not even check. The one that she took of me, my inserted. This here was like halfway down my like no. It looks improper, and she didn't even tell me. Insert it though. Promise me. Oh, you'll obviously. It. And then, she, I, like, I take such care of their photos, and then I'm like, take one of me, and she's like. Hurry up, let's go. I don't want to wait any longer. And I'm like, did you check to make sure it's okay? And she's like, yeah, it looks great. And then I look at it, and every photo she takes of me, I'm like, I said to you this afternoon, I said to you this afternoon, you take another one, please. I was like, blinking in the sun. And you look at it, you're like, no, you weren't. It looks great. Let's go. Every photo of me I have on this trip, I'm like, Oh my god. She's so brutal, oh, you dead, guys. I'm dead. You acknowledge it now though, don't oh, you? I do. I she do was not. trying to say, she was like, Jill, I take so much care to make sure you have great photos. <laughs> oh my god. I know? just like, and I'm not a vain person. These photos are just like all we have to show people one day when we're like very old. Where you're like, I did that go they to were LA. once cool and you're alive. Like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I, I have really nieces cool. and nephews that I need to be like, see, I was cool, like come visit me when I'm older or whatever. Look how cool this is. Yeah. Oh my God. Welcome to Venice Beach, heel. Guys, everything. check it out. You need a show. <laughs> yeah. okay, by the we way, came guys. here for the sunset and the weather report says haze now. We literally specifically came here for the sunset. Yeah. That looks good. <laughs> so. You can't, you know what though? When you're on vacation, things happen, and you just roll with it. Yeah. So, a cloudy, cold beach walk it is. <laughs> Venice Beach. 
is way <laughs> seedier than Too I remembered. Basic. Yeah, like it's like it's pretty seedy. It's full of vagrants. The like shopkeeps are very aggressive. There's people like bashing into other people on scooters. <laughs> this is not the Venice Beach I remember. But, but look at these houses. These are so beautiful. They are. But I was saying to Joe, like, I'd be worried people are gonna break into my house. All yeah, time. it's pretty sketchy here. I don't know. I was starting to get spooked, and Hillary was like, "Jill, I would." What did you say? I said I would like stab someone if they came near you. What a beautiful sunset. <laughs> Simply unparalleled. I'm like, what is, is that the um, Ferris wheel? Just like, no, 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 that's some kind of like light projection because it's so hazy and it turns <laughs> yeah. out it is the Ferris wheel. Yeah, it's just super hazy. It's, yeah. Still love this though. It, you know what, it is really beautiful. Santa Monica is awesome. Literally, people on Tinder here like love me, or Bumble. <laughs> I was on Bumble and I got a notification like an hour later there was like 86 people think you're buzzworthy. I was like, oh. This sunset, I'm telling you, is lit. <laughs> it is, look at that. Have you ever seen so many colors is my question. <laughs> I mean, so many shades of pinks and oranges, yellow, orange, even red. Oh yeah, purple. It's red sky at night, sailor's delight. <laughs> <laughs> this is. This is uh, so brutal. We were like, this is a bit of a fail. It's pretty uncrowded. Look at the parking lot that's right it's next dead. to the beach. Everyone knew. Everyone knew better us. than us. But so, it still is really nice to be near. It the is, water. and it's nice to just like go for a fun walk or whatever. Yeah. Um, wouldn't be a sister trip if we didn't cancel the idea of doing anything for the night, other than eating Postmates. Mm. In the room. We're watching TLC. We're watching Antiques Roadshow. It's everything. Oh, it's been a full day. I'm gonna leave you guys my Postmates code down below. I just realized today that if you refer someone else to Postmates, you each get a hundred dollar delivery credit, which is insane. They're not paying me. I'm just like very greedy. <laughs> And I also really like getting Postmates to a hotel room when you travel because it's cheaper the room service and generally they have pretty good selection of anything and they come to your room so you don't have to walk across a chic restaurant that's part of your hotel wearing a shirt that was a free promo shirt that says, I'm kind of a big deal. So thanks to Postmates for that one. Guys, it is time for bed. I know that because Hillary just started turning off all the lights. <laughs> So we have a single light left. Good night. Hillary is done. I'm done. What are we I'm doing tired. tomorrow, Hill? Um, we're doing Melrose Trading Post, which I'm really excited for, and yeah. then uh, The Grove. Are there any vintage finds in particular you're interested in from The Trading Post? I know, I'm just excited to see what there is, because I've heard there's just so much stuff. Yeah. So like something for like home, probably. Yeah, we'll see what we find and then the grove and just relaxing. It'll be good. And then, on the third day, we will go to Universal Studios. I'm so excited. I wasn't sure Hillary would be down for it, but she is, so we're gonna go. I didn't prep my Harry Potter robe. It's really hot here. <laughs> <laughs> if you wore that, I would've died. Anyway, I'm excited for that, so stick with us. We're gonna have a lot of fun. And tonight we're gonna get a lot of sleep. And of course, after that, we're going to Disneyland. So that'll be everything. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying these vlogs so far. Give me a thumbs up if you are. Hit like, hit subscribe. Be sure to like hit the notification bell or whatever. Do you have anything else to say for yourself? No. Good night. <laughs> Time to plug yourself into your tube and say good night. <laughs> I was like 13, I think, or 14, and my teeth when I bit like lined perfectly, and he was like, eventually, he's like, you're gonna be under my bed. Like literally, I was like, jeez. Like, it's, it's so brutal. <laughs>